Okay, so this is the third video about physiological changes in pregnancy. In the previous two videos, we talked about the cardiovascular system changes in pregnancy and the respiratory system changes. In this video, I'm going to talk about the renal physiological changes in pregnancy. Uh, the topics about renal physiological changes in pregnancy is anatomical changes in the urinary tract, okay, the renal plasma flow and the glomerular filtration rate, and the extracellular volume, intravascular and interstitial volume, okay, and the renal tubular function. What will happen to renal tubular function in pregnancy? About renin plasma concentration, what will happen to it, okay? So let's start one by one, and about the hyperventilation, of course, uh, the case of hyperventilation. Let's start with the anatomical changes in the urinary tract. What really happens in anatomical changes in the urinary tract is mainly due to progesterone effect. Okay, progesterone increases during pregnancy, and the increase of progesterone will lead to smooth muscle relaxation. So the action of progesterone on a smooth muscle is relaxa relaxating these muscles. Okay, so the relaxation of smooth muscles in the urinary tract in the calyces of the kidney in the pelvis of the kidney in the uterus will lead to marked dilation of the collecting system okay so the smooth muscle relaxation will lead to marked dilation of the collecting system and this dilation may lead or predispose to infections like pyelonephritis okay so pyelonephritis may be predisposed by the marked dilation of collecting system during the pregnancy and this is all due to the uh, effect of uh, progesterone okay so let's just move to okay. the second anatomical change during pregnancy is uterine enlargement and okay just okay uterine enlargement during pregnancy will apply a partial pressure on the ureter okay on many things but ureter is one of the most important so the partial obstruction of the uterus will also predispose to some infection and by the way the right uterus is at greater risk of having obstruction by the uterus okay the right ureter is to be obstructed partially by the uterine enlargement more than the left okay and uh, the obstruction of the ureters uh, will be at pelvic uh, prim okay at pelvic prim level let's just review the ovarian venous drainage ovarian venous drainage comes from the right and left uh, veins okay the right one will drain into the inferior vena cava and the left one will drain into the left renal artery and don't forget that the right uh, vein okay will uh, or right ure ureter I'm sorry will be obstructed more than the left one so this is the first thing about physiological changes or renal physiological changes of pregnancy the anatomical changes, okay, the progesterone effect on the smooth muscle the relaxation that will lead to marked dilation of the urinary tract, pelvis, calyces, and ureter. The second one is uterine enlargement. What will uterine enlargement lead to? Partial obstruction of the ureter. Let's now move to the second subject of renal physiology and pregnancy, the renal plasma flow and the glomerular filtration rate. What really happens here is we have a vasorelaxation of the uh, arteries why because we have an increase of uh, the secretion of nitrous oxide endothelin relaxin and uh, all these vasodilators and that will lead to vasorelaxation okay so the vasorelaxation will lead to increase a plasma flow to the kidney the renal artery will have more plasma flow and of course that will lead to increased blood in the afferent and the efferent arteries of the kidney and the end result of this is increased glomerular filtration rate 
of about 40 to 50 percent okay so the domain filtration rate will increase about 40 to 50 percent and we have a decreased serum level of creatinine and urea nitrogen why because glomerular filtration rate uh, uh, increasement uh, will lead to uh, increase uh, getting rid of these byproducts the creatinine and uh, urea nitrogen so they will decrease by 25 percent of their normal value okay so this is the second thing about the renal physiology so the third thing is renal tubular function changes in pregnancy the sodium absorption will increase okay and the sodium uh, absorption increase will lead to uh, sodium retention by 500 to 900 milli equivalent okay but the good news here that increasement of glomerular filtration rate will compensate the increase in sodium and that will lead to no increase in serum sodium levels okay so we have no increase in increase in serum sodium level levels why because we have increase in the filtration rate that compensate increasement of sodium although we have about 20 to 300 retained so uh, i'm sorry 100 to 300 milli equivalent sodium it consume consumed per day we have an end result of 20 to 300 retained per week so we have 100 to 300 milli equivalent per day but the surprise is we have only 20 to 30 300 uh, milli equivalent sodium retained per week why again because we have increase of glomerular filtration rate that compensate the increase of the sodium so the th first thing to change in renal tubular function pregnancy is sodium absorption what about plasma osmolarity plasma osmolarity will reduce during the pregnancy what about potassium metabolism potassium metabolism mainly is leave unchanged okay in a pregnancy so this is the third physiological change in renal physiology in pregnancy now let's move to renin levels in pregnancy renin actually renin protein will increase in pregnancy and that will lead to increasement of angiotensin one and two okay so why renin will increase in pregnancy because uterus in addition to kidney will also secrete uh, a lot of uh, renin okay so if we do an uh, amniocentesis we will find a lot of renin in the amniotic fluid the increasement of renin and angiotensin 1 and 2 will lead to increase in aldosterone and that again will lead to sodium retention so now we understand why we have increased sodium absorption in a pregnancy this is due to increase in renin and utensin aldosterone pathway okay so we have sodium retention okay so again will we have a lot of sodium serum no because we have glomerular filtration rate increase that will compensate the increase in sodium this is the third physiological change in pregnancy so we talked about the anatomical change the progesterone effect and uterine enlargement we talked about the renal tubular function okay renal plasma flow and the glomerular filtration rate about renin and the plasma concentration and now let's move to hyperventilation and respiratory system change in pregnancy i told you that we will have a hyperventilation increase in the depth of breathing okay the hyperventilation again will lead to respiratory alkalosis and the kidney buffering system will deal with this respiratory alkalosis by increase in renal excretion of bicarbonate okay so by this the kidney is able to get rid of the increase in ease in the blood so we have uh, an excessive excretion of bicarbonate 
final thing I'm going to talk about the extra cellular volume the extra cellular volume whether it is the intravascular or interstitial volume will increase okay so the extra cellular volume the intravascular and interstitial volume will increase but intracellular volume will still as it is okay so i talked about this in cvs changes in pregnancy when i told you that the overall plasma volume will increase the rbcs will increase and this is due to renal angiotensin absorption of sodium water retention okay and so on so this is all about the renal changes in pregnancy okay thank you very much for watching see you in the next video